Okay, so welcome to another video of Astro in 60 Seconds. In this video, I'm going to be talking about light pollution, which is very, very important, obviously, for astrophotography, because if you've got light pollution, you're not going to see the stars, or the Milky Way, or the Aurora, or anything you might see on this channel. So you really do need to get into the really dark skies. Unfortunately, enough in Scotland, if you look on light pollution maps and you go to Europe, you can see Scotland has pretty much got most of the, well, a huge area of Scotland is non-polluted with light. So when you look at mainland Europe, they're pretty humped when it comes to light pollution. So Scotland, I think, is one of the countries in Europe that has got the, you know, the most amount of dark skies percentage from, from our country. Um, just because our highlands and northwest is just pretty much, it's not, it's not very well populated. So yeah, in this video I'll talk 60 seconds about light pollution and I'll pop the timer up about now and let's get into it, let's start the clock now. So a good website to check the light pollution in your area and throughout the whole of Scotland and wherever you may stay um, is lightpollutionmap.info. Check that out, it's a nice user friendly map that you can see where the light pollution is. I'll put a video of, it, of what it looks like on the screen just now. I highly recommend that website. Fortunately in Scotland we're always about an hour's drive away from any dark skies so the darkest skies in Scotland are the Galloway Forest Park, which is actually a dark sky site certified. Uh, we've got Glencoe and Rannochmoor that are pretty dark. There's hardly anything there. It's just a big open moorland. Cairngorm National Park, they do a good amount for a light, light reduction, light pollution reduction. Uh, for the Northern Lights, for a good view north of dark skies is the Moray Coast as it's looking over the Moray Firth. No light pollution there whatsoever. For the Milky Way, you want to be on the east coast of Scotland because you're looking over the North Sea which is just ideal, and then if you go anywhere above the Caledonian Canal, so the Northwest Highlands, say Caithness and Assent, there's like little, very little population up there, so that's always a very good place um, to see the dark skies. Isla Sky as well is a, you know, one of the favourite places in Europe to see the dark, to see the Milky Way, and just the, the stars popping, it's just a phenomenal. So luckily in Scotland, we're only about an hour or two drive away from any dark sky sites. So that should be the timer stopped around about now. Um, I th think that should have been under a minute. If not, maybe a tiny bit over, I don't know. But it should be pretty much 60 seconds. So that was just a good wee insight of where the dark skies are in Scotland and how to avoid the light pollution. And hopefully I've showed you where the light pollution is. Pretty much it's just around the, the central belt in Scotland, so you just want to avoid that any, no any further north than, than the Trossachs and Perthshire, and you should be fine. And yeah, so that's good enough for this little episode of Astro in 60 Seconds. Hopefully in a few weeks I'll post another one. I don't know what it will be about, but we shall see. So, thank you very much for watching. Cheers.